parasite needs to spend time in the mosquito and it has to develop so that when it bites again, this parasites in the salivary glands would be ejected into the new person. So what we did here is to prolong that. So instead of 10 to 12 days, it would be like 15 to 17 days. That would take for the parasite to become infectious for another human inside the mosquito. An average mosquito in nature will live about seven to 10 days. So most mosquitoes will never have the chance to transmit the parasite. It's only 10% of the mosquitoes out there that live long enough to be able to transmit the parasite. By prolonging the life, the, the developmental time that the parasite needs inside the mosquito to become infectious, it means that this 10% becomes now much smaller. that we did makes them uh, uh, weaker because they live shorter. So it would be eliminated naturally by the natural selection. After a few generations, they would be eliminated. So there's no way to spread this modification in the field unless you combine it with what we call the gene drive, which will take this modification and spread it quickly through the populations. Mm -hmm.